the shortest players in the NBA as of right now. Who are they? Let's find out. Welcome Hoops Hive family. You're going to love today's video. But first, if you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Welcome back Hoops Hive family. In today's video, let's look at the shortest players in the NBA as of right now for this 2023-24 season. But first, we wanted to remind you that we will be giving away a $100 gift card to the NBA.com store once we hit 500 subscribers here on YouTube. All you need to do to enter is watch, like, and comment on each video we have. It's that simple. Also, please make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the videos we release every week. Please be sure to join us for tomorrow's video as well, as we look at the top five tallest players in the NBA as of right now. Okay, let's dive into today's video. Anyone who has ever played basketball competitively knows that this sport is not usually a short man's game, but there have been a few players throughout NBA history who have made their mark despite not being as tall as most of the other players in the league. The NBA today still plays host to quite a few players who hover around the six feet mark and even lower, and these players still believe that it's heart over height. From Nate Robinson to Spud Webb and Muggsy Bogues, the NBA has seen some amazing players who became legends despite an obvious physical disadvantage in comparison with their opponents. They had the heart of a lion which always made up for their lack of height. Let's look at the five shortest players in the NBA as of right now. At number five on our list, Chris Paul from the Golden State Warriors, standing at six feet tall. There are five current players in the league who are listed at six feet tall, but we chose two of those players to be on this list, the first one being Chris Paul. CP3 has overcome his short stature to become one of the greatest point guards of all time. For normal human beings, being six feet tall is probably something that is cherished, but in the NBA, being six feet tall makes you one of the shortest in the entire league. Chris Paul is now in his 18th season in the league and averages 17.9 points and 9.5 assists for his career. The incredible numbers speak volumes of how CP3 let his game talk beyond his physical deficiencies. If you have enjoyed watching CP3 these past 18 years, please go ahead and smash that like button. Number four on our list, Kyle Lowry from the Miami Heat, also standing at six feet tall. While Lowry might not be close to the level that CP3 is on, he is arguably one of the best examples of how small size cannot define a career, especially with respect to height. Lowry is one of the top defensive guards of his time, and his ability to draw charges is something that most don't mention. The six-time All-Star and former champion is in his 18th season in the league and is the starting point guard for a team who can make some noise in the East. We will see if they can hang with the likes of Milwaukee, Boston, and Philly. If you think Miami does have a chance to make some noise in the East this year, please smash that like button. At number three on our list, Jordan McLaughlin from the Minnesota Timberwolves standing at six feet tall. McLaughlin played college ball for USC, where he ranked second on USC's all-time assist list with 457 total assists, eighth on the steals list with 141 steals, and 22nd on the all-time scoring list with 1,188 points. The undrafted Timberwolves guard is only averaging one point per game this year so far, but hopefully he can get some more playing time and increase those stats a little more. At number two on our list, Jacob Gilliard from the Memphis Grizzlies, standing at five feet, eight inches tall. Jacob Gilliard is a point guard who played college ball for the Richmond Spiders. He signed a two-way contract in April 2023 with the Memphis Grizzlies after having played with the Memphis Hustle of the G League. 
Although the Grizzlies have the point guard position well covered, Gilliard has been fighting to keep his spot on the roster this season. He's averaging 4.6 points and 3.5 assists per game at the time of this video. He is currently third on the depth chart at the point guard position, but with Ja Morant suspended and Derrick Rose getting older, Gilliard could end up seeing more playing time at some point this season. Finally, number one on our list. But first, if you have enjoyed this video so far, please do us a favor and smash that like button. The shortest player in the NBA right now, Marquise Noel from the Toronto Raptors standing at five feet seven inches tall. The Kansas State guard was not selected in the 2023 draft, but in July, he signed a two-way contract to play for the Toronto Raptors. He was a force to be reckoned with when he played college ball at Kansas State, with many high-scoring games despite being only five feet seven inches. He is officially the shortest player in the league as of right now. The Toronto Raptors have been known for a hustle culture in years past, and Marquis Noel represents exactly that spirit. The five feet seven inch guard has defied all odds throughout his collegiate career and came into the NBA holding the record for most number of assists in a single game in an NCAA Division I tournament with 19 assists. With the void left by Fred Van Vliet's departure, Noel finds himself in a good situation and has been getting decent minutes with the Toronto Raptors. We hope that he can make an impact to prove that heart over height ain't no joke. All right, Hoops High fam, if you enjoyed today's video, please smash that like button and leave us a comment on which of these five players will have the best year statistically this NBA season. Also, please don't forget to join us tomorrow as we look at the top five tallest players in the NBA as of right now. Take care.